What's going on guys? I have another beer review for you. This one I'm very excited to do because it's been heavily requested. And this is Guinness. Yes, more specifically, Guinness Draft. Yes, that is the English version, I believe, or British version of Draft, how you spell it. D-R-A-U-G-H-T as opposed to American D-R-A-F-T. But that's what this is, Guinness Draft. Now this is really interesting. I've never had it out of the bottle before. I've had it out of a can, and I've had it on tap. Now I can tell you on tap, <laughs> phenomenal. Absolutely delicious, um, just over the top amazing. Uh, out of a can, equally as good as the tap. What, what's really interesting, if you guys don't know, but Guinness Draft out of a can has what they call a widget. And a widget is basically this small bowl in there that's filled with nitrogen gas, all right? Um, Guinness has that very distinguishable, extremely thick, creamy consistency, and that is because the carbonation is produced by nitrogen, and nitrogen produces tons and tons of tiny, tiny little bubbles, and most beer out there, uh, the carbonation is produced by uh, CO2, and the CO2 gases has the, the larger, more mobile bubbles, all right? So it's very, very distinguishing. When you pour Guinness, especially from a tap, you watch it settle very, very similar to, uh, you know, a, a fresh shot of espresso. Um, you know, if you, if you pull a shot of espresso, you see the crema form, which is basically the, the very, you know, thin layer of bubbles on top, similar to the head of a beer. And it's a really interesting process. You can look this, this up. You know, there's, there's much more information than I even know. But the whole thing is very interesting. But the reason I'm mentioning it is because... When they made the bottle version of this, they took out that widget, that technology that instantly puts that nitrogen into the, the beer. So basically, if you have a can, and you know, I'll probably review this in a can as well to show you this, but when you open a can of Guinness Draft, um, you hear a, a separate distinctive like kind of noise. And what's happening is the second you open it, this burst of nitrogen shoots right into the beer, which creates all those bubbles. And then, of course, you pour it, you know, and there's a proper way to pour Guinness. And if I was pouring from a tap, which I'm not, I'm sure I would have to do it dead on, otherwise people would get upset. But the whole thing with the bottle is that they don't have the widget in here. They did a different gas mixture so that they actually recommend you drink this right from the bottle and it's on the top of the bottle. To read the cap, it says, enjoy straight from the bottle, all right? That is the, the most authentic taste you would get um, besides the, the tap, basically. But we're going to pour it, and I did watch a, a video from the master brewer at Guinness um, showing how to pour from a bottle. It's a very calm pour. You know, you tilt the bottle or tilt the, the glass, and it's just really, really smooth to that very end, and then you, you, you know, straighten it up to get that head. But anyway, 4.2% alcohol on this. Um, Guinness is probably the most known Irish stout there is out there. I mean, Guinness is very, very recognizable. Um, some people say it's an acquired taste. I would agree with that. I love it though. Uh, I think a lot of people either really like it or really don't like it. It's not middle of the road kind of thing, but I'm a huge fan. So I'm very excited to, uh, to do a review of this. I've had, I've had, <laughs> I have had this before. I didn't even open it yet. I'm stumbling. Um, Yes, I've had this multiple times and it is delicious. It is one of my favorites and this is definitely a go-to beer uh, if I'm out and about or somewhere. And I say that like it makes it sound like I drink tons and tons of beer. I don't. But the few occasions that I've been at a bar or something like that um, and I, I saw Guinness on tap, I went for it because that was the best option there. But anyway, breaking out the old bar fly. Not really old bar fly, but just uh, trying some different bottle openers. And I forgot I had this one. So... Here we go. Initial smell is amazing. It smells a little bit like chocolate, dark coffee. It has that almost like a, a burnt smell to it. All right, so a very, very calm collective pour here. So suspenseful. On top. You're gonna let this settle for a little bit. And let that head form a little bit more. 
And actually, you know what? I think I poured it too slow. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so, it just, it just smells so good. I mean, compared, I've had a lot of different dark beers, and I, I have found that I do like dark beers. Um, I actually like wheat beer, too, apparently, but it's just, it's so distinguishable. It's, it's so its own thing. It, it's ridiculous. There's nothing else that it's quite smelled and tasted like this before. It smells like buttery and creamy. I say buttery like in a good way, like a caramel is buttery, you know, just sweet and rich. I can't wait. I gotta taste it. I gotta taste it. So here we go. Such, such a fan of Guinness. And I also have a Guinness Extra Stout. And I have had that too. I've actually have had, I've had the Extra Stout more than I've had the Draft. And I'm going to talk specifically to that because they both taste the same to me. But this one, this is less calories by the way. The Draft I think is 163 calories or something for a bottle. I don't remember exactly offhand, but it actually has the calories of a light beer. But, you know, obviously a much more intense flavor than most light beers, uh, if not all of them. But, um, mm, it's so good. The distinguishable difference that I've noticed is that the draft, Guinness draft has a, um, uh, a little bit of a lighter mouthfeel. It's not quite as thick as the extra stout. And um, the flavors are there for certain, but the extra stout actually has just extra flavor so I always compare this is to me this is almost like Guinness light in most senses of the word but mm. that's fantastic so here I'm gonna pour this a little bit higher so we get a little bit more of a head building you see how those bubbles cascade like that and that is simply because again of the nitrogen for carbonation as opposed to CO2. So really, really interesting. And you know, you get this nice creamy rich head. You'll see this with the, uh, the extra stout even more so too, but, um, just, uh, it's a, it's an off white color. It's, it's more of like a, I don't know, really light tan, just super creamy. So when you put it up to your mouth, you know, in a glass, um, you kind of break through, you feel the foam, because it's so thick, you know, the head is so thick and rich. You feel it kind of cover your lip. It almost, <laughs> the best way I can describe it is like ice on a, a lake or something, you know? You have this barrier, and when you break through, all right, when you tilt this, and the actual liquid, the actual liquid beer breaks through the bottom and starts pouring into your mouth, it, it's such a really great feeling. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's uh it's unique. The, the Guinness itself, to me, it's ritualistic. The entire process, um, it's really awesome. It, it is one of my favorite beers. Mm. And it leaves that mustache. That mustache of thick, creamy, foamy wonderfulness. Mm. Well, I was going to say... <laughs> I was gonna shut the camera off and um, wait a little while until I'm done, but a little while, who am I kidding? This is absolutely delicious. Um, scary delicious, because you can go through it very fast. Um, but anyway, here's to all you guys out there. You have to drink responsibly. And of course, these videos are intended for adults. I don't think I have to say that, but I'm gonna say it anyway, because obviously, there are, you know, teenagers and stuff that watch, and I would never, ever like to promote any kind of underage drinking or anything. Um, let me tell you, let me give you a good bit of advice during my, my beer review here. If you're young, um, don't try to grow up too fast. That's a mistake that I think every single person always makes. Is when you're a kid, you want to be an adult. You want adult, you know, toys. You want adult experiences. Just enjoy being a kid. Because with all that other stuff becomes, you know, adult responsibilities and adult consequences. So, take it from me. It's nice being a kid. No taxes, no mortgage, no car payment. 
you know, enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. If you think beer is really interesting or like, you know, I do cigars and, and uh, pipe tobacco reviews and stuff like that, all that stuff can wait. Those are the decisions I think you need to be an adult to make. Just my opinion. And I don't even know why I'm talking about this video. I just, it popped in my head. So there you go. Anyway, um, I can't, I can't let it sit here. I have to drink it because it's wonderful. It's so, so good. Uh, obviously, I'm a fan. I love Guinness. I've only had the, the draft and, of course, the extra stout. There are many other variants of Guinness, too. Uh, I think Black Lager is one I saw in the store, but I didn't get it. Might try that in the future. But uh, anyway, it, it's wonderful. It, it's its own experience, and I think that if you like beer, period, that you should try Guinness at least once. I think most people do anyway, but I'm going to say it. it. It's worth giving it a try to see if you're a Guinness person. Because there's Guinness people and there's non-Guinness people. Two types of people in this world. But anyway, awesome. Total Irish beer, Irish traditional beer. Um, it's really, really good. It's a, I think the technical thing is a dry, an, an Irish dry stout is the official type of beer. But brewed in Dublin, Ireland, can't beat it. Guinness all the way. That is definitely, like I said, my go-to beer. It's full of flavor, um, which I didn't even describe to you. <laughs> but there's there's chocolate notes, um, roasted, deep roasted, smoky. I shouldn't say smoky, because that's a specific thing. That's, I think like barbecue smoky. No, no, not smoky, but but like charred, um, charred malts. That that sweet malt flavor is there, and very very strong, but. There's, there's depth and, you know, more complexity to it than a lot of different malts that I, I taste, or malt flavor I taste in other beers. But you definitely get just rich, deep, like Sumatran coffee type flavors in there. A little bit of super dark chocolate, like a baker's chocolate. Um, it's so good. That's the best way I can describe it to you. Um, thick, rich mouthfeel, much more, uh, you know, much stronger in the extra stout than in the draft. Um, just what a wonderful experience. So, you don't need to hear any more from me. You have to go out and try it. Like I said, if you're watching a beer review and you're of the age to legally drink where you live, uh, you need to go get one and you need to try it because it is delicious. It's full of flavor. So, that's all. That's my review. And, um, if you've never had it in a can, get one. Get a can. It's really, really cool. Uh, maybe I'll do the video again because I want to talk about that widget. It's just really interesting technology. And uh, I honestly didn't know about it uh, until recently because I only had it in a can recently. Um, like I said, I had, it on, I had it on tap, I don't know if it was two or three times. And it was, just, it was phenomenal. I was blown away. The, my first experience with Guinness was on tap. And I'm like, this is the best beer I've ever had in my life. You know, how can it get better than this? And then um, uh, I had it in a can. And then I say, well, I got to try a bottle. And I decided to do the review in, you know, with the bottle. So this is my first time, first experience with the bottle. And um, it's good. Honestly, it's really good in the bottle. But this is one of those rare cases where I think it's better in the can as opposed to the bottle. But, of course, tap is the best. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.